Hi Hui and hi everybody. So today we're not going to be at my pottery. We're going to go to Eira to see Johanna Gudlikson's studio. But before we go, I want to show some of the lamps I have ready now. So these are the ones I've been making in the previous videos. And it's a great time for lamps. It's so dark in Helsinki now. And the trams are so noisy. We, we don't mind. Let's go. Yes, Johanna is, has handpicked my my arvo bowls for her Christmas sale. So we're going to go and see them there. And then I want to show her products too, because I, like this bag, she's one of my favorite textile artists in Finland. I just adore her products. So you, once you have a bag in, of hers, you never get tired of it. And it's all made in Finland. Even the fabric is made in Finland, so ah, it doesn't work. Why? But now I have proof that I'm trying to buy it. Yeah. Eh? I'm gonna try again. I can't see anything with this. It's always when you get in. Yeah. from outside okay let's see now I have a proof that I have a ticket <laughs> look they're taking the cover off the food market yeah. oh, they say it's gonna take two more years before it's ready two more years. yes at the food market they have yeah. until that so it, uh, the one only is like temporary food it's market. temporary Now we're gonna go over the, uh, it's called the long bridge, which is not very long, but it's, it's what separates, and uh, this used to be an old workers district, to the center of the town. Okay. So actually here was just, you know, 150 years ago, just farms. Okay. And then they built wood houses, and, ah. and uh, in the early 1900s, they started to build the stone houses here. There were factories and factory workers lived here. So there's a lot of small apartments in my neighborhood. And that's why a lot of young people, the students are living here. But I'm making another film where I'm gonna tell more about the history of this bridge. Because it's a great divider. I can link it into this then later on. And today we're gonna visit Johanna Gulliksen and her textile store, which is fabulous yeah. and then after that we're gonna go and see uh, Afra Mama which is a new cafe opening in my neighborhood okay. I haven't been there yet but they want to uh, do some cooperation with me so I'm gonna be making they, they I think they uh, they're gonna be serving Ethiopian tea coffee okay. there okay. so I'm gonna be making cups for them and okay. flower pots Johanna took uh, handpicked my bows for yeah. Christmas yeah. to her shop because she, uh, she's very well known abroad, especially in Japan. Yeah, I think she's one of the internationally most famous designers in Finland now in textile. What's special about her de textiles, I think that they are always the models are kind that you can uh, use. It never gets the fashion. It's so classic. Pro products are beaten and colored and everything is done in Finland. Yeah. And her textiles are very well known for use in Artec, which is the Alvarado design in their furniture. Well, her family has contributed a lot to Finnish arts anyways. Her grandmother was Maire Gullik, who was uh, the first one who employed Alvarado. The whole family has contributed a lot. Okay. And I think her grandmother was the first one who started the modern art collection in Finland. Well, she has made all the designs, yes. So it's good, it's so easy to bike in Helsinki. Yeah. So that's, uh, it, especially in Covid time, really. There's 1,200 
hundred kilometers bike way. Yeah. At least a couple of years ago, I think it's more now, so. So this is my tea. Well, it's actually called this new tea teacup I made for new tea tea company. Yeah. And you can you can hold it like this. So it doesn't get hot. Yeah, true. So that's uh, because the Finnish people are used to having a handle. Yeah, to climb but, up. But I don't, I don't think you need to have a handle. And the decoration there I'm using is uh, recycled glass, oh. just for fun of it. Okay. So I went to a neighbor restaurant and got a bottle. And here's my tea towel bowls. This, these are actually designed for Taoist tea ceremony. And then they, they here they sell this, which I really like. I actually, when I was in London Design Week, week they were also there. And I, it's really nice, their packages, a lot of them are woods. Wood bats, and some bird's leaves, some sea salt. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. What, nice what do you things. use this for? You put some uh, in a hot water, well, like a bucket of hot water, and then you put your uh, uh, yeah. Do you sell these online too? Yes, we do. Yeah. So I'm going to put yeah. the link. Yeah. In the, in, uh, in his forest. And I love the packaging they have. Yeah. It's really like you can see it's all good. I think this is fantastic. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And actually wood is very sterile. It's yeah. very good material yeah. for... That's why all the saunas in Finland were Excellent. wood because that was the... And uh, people were, if they get sick or if they gave birth, they were in sauna because that was so clean. We had like brunches, like a lot of brunch, like, yeah. so quite many for weekends, like yeah. some startup companies, but they were cancelled of course, because COVID. Because they can't even meet in office together, they're like, how can we be like 10 to 20 people all of a sudden eating together, and of course it would be private function, they would have yeah. wine, wine here as well. And then I want to come back to this, what's the future of this? So you're going to have lunches here? Oh, um, we're going to start with brunch. Yeah. That's what we're going to introduce yeah. our food and all So, any turn here. Yeah. And it's been at the Ah, yeah. Because we have the same regions, we have pretty much the same food. Yeah. A bit different. So, it's the weird bread. Ninja. Yeah. I'm really nervous making small like this because, you know, this, you have to think yeah. of the wheel. And, and because Don't worry, we'll come and help you. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> and even if, if I use the um, logo in. in, in uh, like if you make these by hand in old days, they mm. center the big piece of plate mm. and make. <laughs> yeah. This is how we do it. Oh, well, like this. Hey, yeah. Like... Yeah. hey no. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching. And we will be making more content about Helsinki, about my pottery, and also about Helsinki. Especially Kallio, this neighborhood, which I love. <laughs>